Welcome to this quick session where I want to show you how you can easily deploy an Azure virtual machine, um, a Windows based virtual machine as a Docker host. That one will come of course pre-installed with Docker, but it also will have Portainer and traffic pre-configured so you can um, try it out, give it, give it a spin and find out how it all works. My name is Tobias Fenster. I'm the CTO for the Cosmo Consult Group and also a an, uh, Portainer Ambassador. Now, what we want to do is to get started. I want to show it from the very beginning. So the first thing that I want to do here is um, search for Azure Quick Start Templates. That one should give me a couple of hits. And the very first one is the Azure Quick Start Template Library, as you can see here. Um, that is kind of the overview of all the Azure Quick Start templates that are generated and are available. And because I have created the one for uh, the scenario that I just mentioned, and it's the only one that includes Portainer, I can easily just search for Portainer here. And um, you can see here we have exactly one hit. So I select that one and um, I get some, some basic information about what it's doing. As I said, it is a Windows Docker host with uh, Portainer and traffic pre-installed. I can take a look at the source code on GitHub. So if I just click here, it will um, present me with all the sources. So if you want to take a look under the covers, what is actually happening, you can also do that. Um, but I don't want to go into more detail here, but instead just click on deploy to Azure. So that is, is the first thing that we want to do. And that one opens up the Azure portal for me. I should already be logged in and um, it will present me with the inputs and the, that uh, ask me for some information that I need to provide to get the configuration up and running like the VM size and, and things like that. But we will see that in a second. So the Azure portal is starting and here you can see it indeed shows that it's the Windows Docker host that we want to deploy uh, coming from the Azure Quick Start template library. And uh, it also asks for some input. I'll scale that a bit so it's hopefully better readable. The first thing that I want to do is create my own resource group that basically um, groups all the, the resources in an in a Azure um, scenario together. So I want to make sure that all of this is together as the portainer traffic demo. So I can also afterwards easily um, delete it again. I'm located in Germany, so I will select Germany West Central here. And because we're also getting a Let's Encrypt certificate, I need to enter my email address where we'll send uh, notifications if the um, certificate expires. So the next thing that I want to select here is the VM parameters. That one um, asks me for a size, two CPU, eight gigabytes of memory, that would be fine. But just to also show you um, that you can easily change it, I hit select VM size here. And as soon as it opens up, I can select a different VM. So if you want to deploy something bigger, you can uh, very easily have more resources here. Of course, you can uh, scale it easily afterwards as well. But let's start with something a bit bigger for CPUs in uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. Let's select that one. And then it wants to have an administrator username. I'm very creative here. Um, oh, the password also has some criteria. So let's use something a bit longer. Of course, confirm it. And then we have the data disk. Um, that one is interesting. If you want to uh, store something a bit bigger here, we can make the data disk um, larger from the beginning. But that's basically it. Um, I click review and create. It has all the, the configuration that it needs. It um, asks me here to accept the terms, which I will, of course, carefully read. And then in the end, I click Create. I can also, as you can see here, download a template for automation. So if I want to repeat this later, I can easily just um, download a template. This will take a couple of minutes. So I will take a quick break. And um, as soon as it's finished, we will get up and running again. Okay, so now we are back. Um, it took around 10 minutes to deploy for the virtual machine to be created, for the Docker images to be downloaded and, and everything uh, to get up and running. So if we now take a look at the details, you can see here that we have our Docker host. And if I click on that one, I can use that to get the DNS name. Um, so it has generated a, a random name for me 
to make sure that we don't have any naming conflicts. If I take a look at that one, <clears throat> it will show me in a second which DNS name it has generated. So you can see that here, uh, here we have the DNS name. So I just copy that one to the clipboard, create a new tab and then say HTTPS, plug in the name and then do a slash port hanger slash. And if I hit enter, then I should be presented with the login page. You can see that this is secured by HTTPS, which is a feature of traffic that automatically gets a Let's Encrypt certificate so we can um, connect here as well. So now you can see the standard um, intro page if we open Portainer for the first time. You can see that it also is able to manage Kubernetes clusters. It also is able to connect to what is called a Portainer agent, which is interesting if you're, for example, um, using Docker Swarm as a backend. But for now, I'll do um, the local Docker environment because we only have a host with Docker pre-installed and um, everything on, on that one machine. So I connect to that one here. You can see I have a nice interface um, for Portainer. I just click on my local environment and then I can see here that I currently have two images downloaded. I have one stack, that's the stack that comes pre-deployed and two containers. So if I take a look at the containers, I can see here that I have traffic and Portainer up and running. To show you how uh, very easy it is to also include something else, I will go to the stacks here and then say I want to add an additional stack. And for that case, I want to um, just use the web editor. I give it a name and that one will include an IIS and I have prepared a very simple demo here. So I just paste in um, that definition. So you can see here, I have an IIS um, image that I'm using. I'm enabling it for traffic. I let it know, oh, that's too much. I let it know that I want to connect everything that is coming with the prefix of slash IIS. Um, I co connecting it to the secure, so the HTTPS entry point and the certificate here, it removes slash IIS because IIS is um, not listening on slash IIS, but actually in the container, um, it's listening directly on the root and I'm connecting it to my Compose default network, which is where um, Portainer and traffic are already running. So with that, I will just say deploy the stack and it says deploy in pro de deployment in progress. And I will again um, pause the recording here because um, it takes a bit until the image is downloaded and extracted. Okay, so you can now see that um, our IIS stack has now finished deploying. So uh, we will now see in that stack here that we have a container that is up and running. And if I just copy the URL again, put it into a new tab and say slash IIS and hit enter, then I should hopefully see the starting page of IIS exactly. So you can see here that it has um, successfully deployed. What else can I do in here just to give you um, a quick idea? I can, of course, access the logs. I can um, access uh, inspect information. So take a look of what the image is. I can see the stats. I can get a PowerShell um, to connect to it. I can also get an idea about the host where this is running. So I can find out um, the version information, the kernel information, um, the release of, of Docker where this is running on and so on. So this is um, makes it very easy for me to interact with my containers, get them up and running, configure them, change them, um, deploy new containers. And if you just want to give this a try, um, take my quick start template for a spin, deploy it on Azure. Um, all you need is basically a free Azure subscription. And um, then you can try Portainer, can try tra tra uh, traffic and find out if it works for you.